Good morning, friends. Welcome to Simply Cooking with Coach Sarah. Today we have special guest, Coach Felicia in the house, and we're gonna get to you in just one second. I'm, we're gonna wait for some of our friends to pop on real quick. If you're watching the replay, don't forget to put hashtag cake or hashtag happy birthday because it's her birthday tomorrow. And um, also, I'm gonna pop you guys up on my laptop. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. All right, guys, who is joining us live today? I want to see who is here. Takes me a second. I see a Jessica and a Laura. Hello, Hello. friends. Hello, good morning. I see Amy. All right, oh, here we are. This is fun, I get to meet all your friends. I yes, mean, I know here. all my people, and my people are, you know, well, you ought to tell me if you see some of your friends that are going to join us today. They said they would. There's Mallory. Awesome. Yes. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Carla. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to show you guys today a uh, special request from... Sherry. Hey, girl. Hey. I love <laughs> you. Special request from the birthday girl here. Yeah. She wanted to have uh, German chocolate cake. And so, of course, we do things simple over here. And so we are going to make a German chocolate cake in three minutes, and it's amazing. Okay, I wanna give you guys some prep ahead steps if you have not already done your pecans and your coconut. If you're gonna be making this along, you need to get that done like right away. So I'm gonna give you some tips here, but it's yes. your birthday I'm tomorrow, so yeah. and this is like an honorary birthday party. We're having a birthday bash here, you guys. And so, for your birthday, you are the birthday queen. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you had no idea this was coming. I did. This is So getting... first, we have to crown the queen. Oh my goodness. Because it's her birthday. <laughs> I hope this fits your head. Oh, it will. Okay. This is way too fun. Oh, I mean, oh, I do yeah. have an enormous head, but no, we, already, no. we already knew that, right? It's happening. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks like really nice. Is it not? I feel so special. Okay, hold on. I got more though. Because you, as the birthday queen, you need a birthday queen. Oh, I don't know why. Look at this. You guys. I don't know how this getting, works. Oh, you well, need a pen. I did not oh, think this through. Well, we'll, well you work. could still, yeah, we're going to, we'll here we go. Work. Birthday queen. We'll get a pen later. That's fine. I did not think that I through. I still feel very queenly ever. I can't. That looks good. You guys. Here's the queen herself. Say happy birthday to Felicia. <laughs> this is Coach Felicia. If you guys have not met her, she's amazing. She's a powerhouse of positivity. I'm going to call you that. Powerhouse of positivity. I like it. So, you can write my slogans from now on. So for today, we are going to do German chocolate cake. And I wanted to tell you guys, because I messed up, I don't know if you saw in my notes, but I was like, don't burn your pecans. Uh -huh. Because it goes, they go from like toasted to not even roasted, just straight up burnt and disgusting, and they're trash. And pecans are really expensive, and I don't want that to happen to you guys. So I wanted to let you know um, a very simple way to not do that. I was doing it, I did both my pecans and my coconut, this can you guys see it, on the stove. Now this on the stove, it only takes a couple minutes, you have to watch it closely. And so if you get this stuff set up in, uh, before we make this, then this goes really, really fast. If you don't have this part done, do it, do yourself a favor and get this done because then you can just throw it in a bag and you'll have it ready for all the recipes that you make with toasted coconut and toasted um, pecans. So this I did on the stove, it really, it's just a lot of tossing, 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 and then it's done, pull it off. Okay, so I, when I did the pecans, this is what I did, this was a terrible mistake. <laughs> I did the same thing, but they, I didn't take them out of the pan. Oh, Pearl's here. I saw, hi Pearl. Hi Pearl, I feel like special, thank What's you What's up Pearl? girlfriend, you are special Sarah. <laughs> She's the best. Uh, so <laughs> I took my pecans, and I put them in a pan and I roasted them, but you're supposed to remove them from any of the heat or they just burn. So, oh, you never caught my lives before, but you watched the replay. Oh, Pearl, I, I love know. you, Pearl. You're famous, Sarah. Pearl watches you. Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, good morning, Tracy. I can actually see your guys' comments on here for once. That's crazy. So Patty's here, Tracy, yes. Yes, exactly. Six minutes, 400, Tracy. It works perfect. And they, you guys, they taste amazing. 
they taste amazing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, if you're making this with me, we are going to make the icing first, and then we will do the actual cake part second. So you want to get a big bowl, bigger than what you think, because it doesn't make a lot of icing, but because we're gonna make it in the microwave, uh, it takes up a lot more volume, and you don't want it to be like spilling over and barfing in your microwave. It's not good, not a good scenario. Microwave so. barf people. We talk about all the things here. Uh, well, <laughs> on my videos, we always manage to bring it back to a poop discussion somehow. Okay, well. So, well, <laughs> it's one it's it's one end or the other with me and Sarah here, people. Oh gosh. I cuz we got I got small kids too, so all the things. Yeah. Okay, um you're going to want heavy cream. Now, if you don't want to do the dairy version and you are dairy free, there is a dairy free option. This recipe is actually from Nana's Little Kitchen. Nana's Little Kitchen. And I'm going to link it in the description for you guys so you can check it out after. And I'm going to give you my tips on how to make this work. Um, there is a dairy-free option. You use coconut cream instead. But you want to put the coconut cream into the refrigerator, like per preferably overnight, because then you are going to um, have the most benefit. you got to like, you got to take it off like the cream so it's thicker. And you don't want the watery part but you can read the directions on there I'm not actually demoing that one today we're just gonna do the traditional for coach Felicia here so I'm so excited you guys I love German chocolate cake and then of course when Sarah said three minute the other day I was like wait hold on what <laughs> I have to see this okay so you ready let's yeah. do it okay so icing we're gonna do um, I can't give you guys all of the measurements but when you look at the recipe you can grab uh, heavy whipping cream and so I should, I feel like I should have posted this for you guys beforehand, I'm sorry, next time. So I'm gonna do, measure that out. Then we are going to add gentle sweet. Oh, which by the way, uh, I highly recommend for this recipe specifically because it recommends like powdered swerve, but I like to use gentle sweet that's xylitol free. It's already, it's already finely ground, so it works perfectly. So I'm going to add in the gentle sweet. Then we are going to add in what? Ah, uh, a pinch of salt. Okay. I can't find my things. I know the feelings this time. Perfect. Now just stir this and then we're going to throw this in the microwave for one minute. Now the reason we're doing this first is because we want to give it time to set up before we put it on the cake. Okay, perfect. Now, while that's cooking, we can actually start doing the cake part. So, we are going to grab one egg, and I'm actually gonna demo two because you are gonna taste test and tell us <laughs> what you think. I have an opinion, but yeah. I'm gonna let her decide first okay so just grab an egg and a mug if you don't I'm gonna use my epicure little mini loaf pans which if you have something like this this works so awesome because they will just pop out when it's done um, if you don't you can obviously do it in a mug too or you can find just a small dish and put like parchment paper so it doesn't stick to it so you got a couple different options all right good morning Valerie yes Tracy's making the icing with us oh good morning Jerry Okay, so we are going to add our egg. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you guys, after being in Sarah's kitchen all week, I want all the Epicure. I want all the, the little things. Like, she has so much. Every time I open a drawer, it's like, well, that's cool. I don't have one of those. You so need I really, I know I do. Yeah. Okay, so once this comes out, you're just going to take, I have this little bit. This is an Epicure baby whisk. Isn't it adorable? Oh, it's, it's the first time it's been away from its mama. So I'm going to whisk that, and then we're going to stick it right back in. This is making a very quick sweetened condensed milk. So this goes back in for one minute and 15 seconds. Oh, what a trick. Yeah. Okay, now we are going to whisk our egg, and then we are going to go ahead and add... I love that I can see comments. The day I was telling her I can't see comments, and I'm telling she has some magic in the room because I can all of a sudden see your guys' comments. Well, so. I said I can see them on mine when yes. I do. Oh, Stacy's here. Hi, Stacy. Aw, good morning. You. 
and Dina. Hello. Yay. Okay, so now we are going to add a some almond milk. I have, oh my goodness, what a mess going on here. Okay. Thank you, Dina. Of course, it's going to be a very happy birthday. I'm partying at Sarah's house for a week. What could be better? You are so sweet. <laughs> it's so true. They've been spoiling All right. me. So, okay, we had almond milk. Now we're going to do salt. And then we are going to add our, again, same thing, xylitol-free, gentle sweet. So I'm going to add that. And I also, this part, I didn't exactly follow the directions when you read the recipe. I am just dumping everything into the um, cup. So, okay, when this gets done, you do want to pull it out right away. So we're pausing on our cake. I love Look how bubbly this things. is. Can you guys see that? You, when it's bubbly, that's perfect. So, you just want to whisk this. Look at this. Can you see how amazing this is? I can't believe you guys. Mind blown right over here. We got sweetened condensed milk in two minutes. Yeah. And then it thickens as it sits. So, I wanted to show you guys as it sits because I pre-made some. The longer it sits, look, it becomes very thick. Just to give you guys, can you, look, it's literally a lump. So if you want it pourable, you can just have it like this and then pour it on top, but it does thicken as it sits. Or you can put it in the refrigerator too, so it's up to you. Okay, so I'm also, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to make one more bag. Oh, no, I'm not. I have enough icing. I forgot I made extra icing. Oh, good. So we're good. Good. Because I want to make two cakes with everybody because I'm going to give you guys a couple options to try. Okay, so that's gonna sit for a minute and then we'll add our we'll add our goodies to it. Okay. Now, hi Sherry. Oh hey Denise, Denise is here. Welcome. Denise. Hey babe. Oh thank you. Okay, for your now wishes. we're gonna add some vanilla and I, I'm not gonna measure it, but you guys maybe should measure it. If you're not an eyeballer, you should measure it. I like to eyeball things. Okay. I measure with my soul at I, all We times. measure with our heart here, too. Yeah. Okay, next we are going to do cocoa powder. Now, here is my trick. You can do all baking cocoa if you have, which we're going to do one that way. And then we're going to do one with half and half of this. Um, this is the Rodell one that I get from Costco. Baking cocoa. And I really like this cocoa trader, the cocoa trader. This is the dark cocoa, and it is fabulous in any of the recipes that call for the dark cocoa powder, that kind of Oreo color. So if you want it to be dark in color, then I would use one tablespoon of this and one tablespoon of the other one. So one of each. So we're going to do that. You excited? Okay. Do, you yes. like, do you like, are you a chocolate person in general? Yeah. Okay. I am all chocolate all the time. Me too. Aren't we blessed to be Tremouthy Mamas to have chocolate? Like when you can have it in an S or an E, like what's your favorite E with chocolate? Do you like the chocolate secret banana smoothie? Oops. I do, yeah. Um, where my mind went with E with chocolate though is Ooh, Autumn's tell. breakfast cookies. <gasps> Those are the best. They're so Absolutely good. Absolutely amazing. Those are amazing. Okay, let's see what else we need. <clears throat> oh, all right, now we're gonna do baking blend. So I'm going to add that in and then baking powder is the last thing. So I have to get the right amount. Perfect. And baking powder, which I get this one from, oh, I can't show you guys. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. Baking powder. My favorite with chocolate is the chocolate covered cherry. Oh, that one's so oh, good. That one is so good. Cherry. Okay. Now we're going to, this is the cool thing. This actually only takes one minute in the microwave. And when you mix this up, it's actually very runny. So I just wanna let you guys know to not be surprised that it's pretty runny. But definitely make sure you whisk in that. I'm just using a fork. You can use a baby whisk too if you want. But I already used it on my, on my icing. Okay. Are you turning 21? Yes. That's what I thought. For the 
sixteenth time. Ah, that can you get there? It looks perfect. Now, I'm going to actually put it in here. You guys will see why, because it just is amazing. So, and it turns out perfect. No, actually, you know what, Sarah? Tomorrow, I am turning 36 in your presence. Yes, you are. I turned 26, weighing 289 pounds. That's crazy. So the Lord has been very good to me. Amen, sister. Okay, so can you guys see how runny that is? That's how runny it is, and that's normal. Okay. Okay, that's the right Alicia answer. Alicia still looks 21, says K. Thank you. Okay, so one minute. We're going to put this in the microwave. And then we are actually going to make one more. Okay? And then she's going to be our taste tester. Oh, I'm going to go grab wait. one more mug. This is just like going on the cooking shows on TV. You get to sit there, the celebrity guest, obviously that's me, gets to sit there and do absolutely nothing and then eat the food. And I'm really enjoying it. I know, you gotta come back more. I know. You have a front row seat? Okay, I'm gonna rinse my hands here. Okay. <laughs> Stacy. All right. <laughs> oh, you got, oh, 15. 15. It's getting Woo! younger and younger. Getting younger and younger. Okay, so we're going to make one more, you guys. So if you miss the first round, you get a second chance. I'm a firm believer in redemption, too. Oh, amen. So, all right, we're going to do one egg. And then we are going to, I, I'm sorry. I, no, you're I fine. I put you in a really good place. I know, it's fine. And they know, too. I'm like, back forth, back forth. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, apparently not only do I look 15, when I was 29 years old, I initially hit goal weight, and somebody from my son's school told me that I looked 30 years younger, and I was like, well, I don't look in utero good, you know what I'm saying, like, because I am 29, and she says, you now look 30 years younger, so, that's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, I don't want to look that young, yeah, I'm like, I'm good, okay, you're witnessing Amazing. Right? It's cooked. One minute, you guys. Amazing. She just witnessed it. Look at that. Okay, so this literally is going to plop right out. And I want to, I'm going to let it cool for just a minute, though, because I really want to make the second one so you can have a side by side experience. Okay. okay. I can't wait. All right. So we're going to do an egg again, and then we're going to do the almond milk, literally repeating process. So the actual cake itself is already dairy free, so you don't have to make any modifications. It's only to the icing is that you need to make the mods for. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of salt. And then we're going to add our gentle sweet. Okay. And I love that it's so easy to swap out. I'm very dairy light to this day. I've had times when I was doing, you know, gut healing when I abstain from certain foods Vanilla. for a while and we don't have to miss out even if you do have allergies or sensitivities you guys you don't have to miss out there's always a way around it to still have your good thm food no matter what your kind of Amen. eating situation is okay two uh, real quick i'm going to tell them two you tablespoons may. of this instead of the half and half this time it's your show. I'll let you talk. <laughs> no, you're fine just to talk. Lines. I just want to make sure that I'm giving them the right information. <laughs> yes, very important. Okay. And I want to know if you guys make two, tell me which one your favorite is. You guys can have a vote. Oh, and you're just joining us or you're watching a replay. Don't forget to do hashtag happy birthday to the birthday girl and hashtag cake because I know sometimes we like it simple. Okay. Yeah. Then we are going to do baking blend. And then we need our last ingredient is baking powder. Okay, we're just making one more. And this is just gonna take one minute in the microwave. Again, Amazing. I like simplicity. So let's see. You're just the queen of this kind of stuff, Sarah. Oh my God, did you just see that? I'm the, I just made a mess too. Eh, yeah, well I'm the queen of that too. I got voted the one of the messiest people at the dinner table last night. And I was like, am I? I don't think I'm that messy, but apparently. <laughs> do you do all your muffins in a mugs in your Epicure pans? Uh, yes, I do. 
because it's it's they just pop out. It's so much easier to clean. It's so much easier. Oh yeah, my son, whenever he sees me starting to make muffin in a mug, he's like, you better soak that. Because in my house, the men do the dishes. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this in again. And so he's like, uh-oh, those things set up like cement, mom, like. Yeah, you definitely have to put it in. If you do it in the mug, yeah, definitely soak it. Yeah. He also refers to Coach Nikki's egg white pudding as cement pudding, um, because if it dries in the blender, so. Oh my, well, yeah, you gotta rinse your blender right away. That's yeah. not good. Okay, no. woo, that looks perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this one in for one minute. Then we are going to put these to go. Okay, you ready to eat? I hope you're yes, getting hungry. Yes, I'm so ready to eat. Perfect, okay. I gotta clean up my little spot here so I can show them how to dump this out. Okay. Now, let's see, I'm gonna get, ooh, I'm gonna get these fun colored plates. Oh, They cute. can see things better if I put it on color. If it's on white, it's like, yeah. Like out of twilight, you guys, you know? Okay, <laughs> so here it is. I've done nothing. Look at this, it's already gonna pop out. What? See? And this just will rinse out. I love these things. So there it is. We could flip it back over if you want it to be on the front side. So, doesn't that look good? Yes. Now, I'm going to, okay, I actually made two other icings over here. This is so funny, look, oh. you can see. This one sat longer. This is that one I showed you, but look. This one's really, um, can you see the difference? It's still thick. So if you want it like that, you can just uh, pre-make it. And if you want to pour it on top, then you don't have to let it sit as long. Just put it right on top. That's how in the picture, I had just poured it directly on top. So it's up to you how you like it. I'm getting really excited about this, you guys. Oh, look at this. You this wish you were me right now. <laughs> I try to offer them, but you know what? I mean, even with all this technology, we haven't figured out how to get the food through the I phone. Know, I Could know. Could you guys imagine that would be how Facebook, please make that happen next. Food <laughs> through the phone. Right. It could happen, maybe. It would it be could. like the Jetsons. Yeah. Okay, can you guys see this? Doesn't that look amazing? Yes. Okay, I'm going to pull the other one out. We're going to make it just as swift here. Okay, so here it is. This has been one minute. So we're gonna pop this out. Oh, yes. Oh, Denise, we wish you were here too. Woo, look at that, it's steaming. Can you guys see? <laughs> I don't know why I do this. <laughs> it's alive. It's jelly. No, it's not. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we will, here's the other one. I wanted to finish this with you guys. So, oh look, it already thickened up. Wow. It thickens up so fast. Yeah. So if you want it, if you want it to not thicken and you want to just pour it on, you have to do it right away. Okay, so I'm going to add a tablespoon of my coconut. And also, um, where did I put my nuts? I lost my nuts. Where did I put them? Uh, seriously. Oh, right, they're right oh, here. under the notebook. I lose stuff all the time. <laughs> I believe it. Uh, okay, I do just a tablespoon of nuts. And then that's it. Of all the things I've lost, I miss my mind the most. Your mind? Yeah. And my girls watch me lose my train of thought all the time, so same day. Woo! Okay, this looks great. So we're gonna stick this on top of this one. Okay, now, this one has the, I well, you saw, right? Yeah. Did you witness? Okay. Yeah, I, so this one is our cocoa powder, uh, just regular, not the dark one. Okay. And the other one, I need to get you a fork. Yeah. Celebrity taste testers use forks. I you know, okay. So, here you go, me lady. Thank you. Me lady. Let's find out. Well, the queen, she is the queen today. Okay, you guys, which wow. one? So here they are. Can you guys see, can you see the difference? See the color difference? Yeah. So if you want it to look darker, you have to use the dark cocoa powder. 
If you don't care, you can use the light one, but let's let's do a taste test and find out. Let's. I feel like you should start with that one okay. because this one's probably richer in general context. Yeah, don't wanna. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. Yeah. I've never You're had somebody on She's like nervous. taste it right away. What are you nervous about? Well, last week there was a hair. Do you guys remember that? And I was thankful that none of you guys were actually mm. eating it. There's no hair in it today, though. Hair it's free. Extra protein, you know. I would, I would roll with that. That is really, really delicious. Okay. Okay. Now this is with the dark cocoa. All right. It is very visually beautiful. That I can tell you, but we're finding out, Denise. She's telling me. I'll tell you what I think. I should taste these ones though too. I'll taste off the other side. Hmm. I don't know. You're torn? A okay. little bit. I think I like the dark one better. It, it, you can like either one. It doesn't have to be the same as me, and I'm not saying which mine. Okay, so this is the lighter one. Mm. Actually, I think I'm going light. But mm. they're that they're that delicious and, and close mm. in, in yumminess that... I didn't double dip. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not worried. I could care less. Even <laughs> Although, I'll get another one in case you want that one, because I don't know. I'll get another four. Or I'll be double oh, dipping. Yeah. Oh. I want to let, I want to let the queen have her cake. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm actually going with light, personally. Mm. I do love rich dark chocolate, but to me this is like, my, That's the, the balance is just hitting me just right. Okay. They're both, like if you had oh, served me the other one though, I would have been thrilled. And you wouldn't have known? No. It, they're delicious. Oh my God. I can't decide. No? Okay. They're both really good. Yeah, they are. You guys, wow. you've got to make this recipe. And look how fast that mm -hmm. was. Oh, that's so good. They're really good. So, I'm going to go with, uh, I think it depends on the color you want. That's what I'm going to go with. Because I think they both taste fabulous. If you're serving it to someone who doesn't like that dark chocolate taste, I would definitely go with the more cocoa powder. Yeah. But I love all things chocolate, and I love dark and light, and so... They both are fabulous. They're both yeah. so good. Okay, so you guys tell me after you make it. Be sure to post it in the group. Post the, I love seeing your guys' pictures and you guys eating it. A picture of them and their face is so fun. I Aww. love seeing your guys' creations. So be sure to post a picture of you guys making this. Again, this is the three-minute German chocolate cake from Nana's Little Kitchen. So be sure to like give her a high five and a review on her page too. Yeah. And I will link it in the comments. So that are in the comments. I need more coffee today, you guys, in the yeah. description. Oh, Stacy says, come over next week for my birthday to make almond joy cake. Oh, oh that sounds really good. You can come here, Stacy, and we'll make almond joy cake. That sounds really fun. I've never made that one either. Yeah. Or we so. could all go to Texas. I want to see you, Stace. Oh, is she in Texas? Yeah. How far are you from the cafe? Um, she's in Dallas area. Oh, that would be yeah. really fun. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So the dark is not the cocoa powder that tastes like Oreos. Um, it's more for coloring. It's more for coloring. But yeah. it does make it look like Oreos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yep, one tablespoon of each if you do that one. You'll definitely try to make your... Oh, you try to make your hubby's favorite. That's his favorite one? It's an hour away. She's an hour away. Okay, yeah. Okay, so... Did I tell you guys all the things today? I think that's it. We had some fun here. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. And uh, don't forget, uh, tomorrow's the last day to get the kids on plan workshop. So if you're interested in that, be sure. I'll put it up in the description. But tomorrow's the last day. So be sure to sign up for that if you want to check out how to keep your kids on plan. I, my kids eat this stuff all the time. You see. She's oh, yeah. been living with me, and she sees my kids. Real, do they eat oh, healthy? Yeah. Oh, they do. They eat totally healthy. And I have a 15-year-old son who does too, you guys. I mean, and I have a husband who knows the difference between S and E and heavy and light S. So stranger things have happened at sea. There's plenty of hope for your family. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. We love you so much. Happy, happy birthday. Thank you. And now we're going to finish eating cake yeah. together. Cake for breakfast. That's what we do as Trim Healthy Mamas. Yep. But we love you guys and I hope you have an awesome day. And don't forget, if you're watching from YouTube, to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.